what is a gratitude journal and how do you start one? In this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks to start your very own gratitude journal. And as I like to say, throw out those everyday gratefuls to amp up the gratitude and the happiness in your life. Hi, I'm Lise and welcome to Lise on Life. So you wanna start a gratitude journal. Well, what is a gratitude journal? Basically, it's a book of your choosing with paper that you write out what you're grateful for, what you're feeling, as I like to say, an attitude of gratitude for. And it doesn't have to be anything expensive. It can be a simple book from a dollar store that costs, you know, less than a couple dollars. I have some books that were gifted to me by friends that mean a lot to me that I love writing in be something that has a beautiful texture to it, a beautiful color to it. Maybe there's a slogan on the front that really resonates with you and puts good energy into your life. Just know that whatever you pick is the right pick and it doesn't have to cost you a lot. The point is just to get started. What you choose to write with is important too. Some people will just pick up any old pen, but make it something special. It doesn't have to be expensive again, but just make it something that's special to you. It's an instrument of putting gratitude out into the world. It's an instrument that's attached to your hand, which is attached to your heart, mind, body, and soul. For example, I like to write and create better with a black pen than a blue pen. I have a friend and she insists on the blue pen. I have some fine tip markers that I really love that mean a lot to me and they're, they bring me back old timeiness, old nostalgia from when I was a kid. Whatever you pick, just make sure that they don't bleed through the page. So if you want to get creative with different colored markers, that's fantastic. But just be wary, if something bleeds through the page, it might affect your writing for the next day. Before we get started on what to do in the gratitude journal, why should you write in a gratitude journal anyway? How is writing in a gratitude journal going to help you and help your life? Well, here are some things to think about before you start doing your gratitude journal. It can really help you lower stress and is positive and calming. It helps you concentrate and amplify positive things and things that make you feel good. And it makes you realize what truly makes you happy so you can create more of it in your life and make more room for it. And it's a quiet meditative practice that can add peace to your day and to your life. So why am I suggesting that you should write with a pen or a marker with your hand instead of typing on your computer or on a phone? Well, when we're writing, there's a different connection that's going on with, than when we're typing. When we're writing, it's slower. So the words that we're putting down on paper are really, really resonating throughout us because it's taking a little longer to get down. There's more of a connection from our brain, our heart, our mind, our body, and our soul through our hands to the pen, to the paper. So how do we start our gratitude journal? Well, there are a few different ways you can approach it and I'll list them for you here. A popular way is to write down five things in the day that you're writing that you're grateful for. But I'm gonna add something to that as well. Five things you're grateful for and why and how do those things make you feel? I'm gonna give you a few prompts that you may wanna start your writing with. I am grateful for. Today, I am grateful because or for. I have gratitude for. I have gratitude because. Today, I have gratitude for. Today, I have gratitude because. I'll give you an example of something that I wrote recently. Today I am grateful it was a sunny day because I got to ride on my bike and feel energized and get vitamin D and feel alive. If you wanted to simply say, today I'm grateful it was a sunny day, that's perfectly fine. And if you're somebody who's in a hard place, you're in a hard spot, you're in a dark spot energetically, sometimes it's hard to feel gratitude when the whole world seems to be going wrong around us. I've been there, I get it. So I want you to just start with something simple. Just say, I'm grateful for sunshine. 
I'm grateful for my home. I'm grateful for my friends. Keep it simple. And you can build on that after. You can simply say, today I am grateful for blank. My dog, my cat, whatever it is. The more you add to it, the more you build, and the more gratitude you feel every day, the easier the exercise will be. So don't worry about feeling as much at the beginning. Just start the process, because the biggest step is just to start. And if it's difficult for some people, you have to just start. So instead of doing five, start with one, and then add two, three, four, and build up from there. It's completely up to you. This is your gratitude journal and you go at a pace that feels comfortable for you. And no matter how negative things seem, I want you to remember this. There was always, 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 always something to be grateful for. There was always something in your day to find gratitude for and build it up. The more we build it up, the easier it is to feel happiness, to feel gratitude, to feel like the world is working the way we need it to work for us. Another way you may want to organize your gratitude journal is in bullet point form. There are different ways you can do this. One would be to write out the name of the month and to write out every day in that month, one to 31 or 28 or whatever it is. And for each one, just do a little bullet point and maybe do one or two or three short points per day. And taking my example from earlier, it could be, I am grateful it was a sunny day. You might want to write, I am grateful once, dot, 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 and then the bullet points. You might want to say, I have gratitude for dot, dot, dot at the top. It's up to you. What really sticks out for me every day is writing out the word gratitude or the word grateful or the words, I am grateful. I think there is a power in using those words often. There's a power in writing those words out and every day making that a part of your thought process, but also part of your action by writing it out. So if you are going to do bullet points, I would suggest that you don't have to for every bullet point write it out because it's supposed to be short, but perhaps if it's the first of the month, you could write, I am grateful because, and then do your one to two to three bullet points. The next one could say, today I have gratitude because. Whatever it is, I think those words are important to put down on paper every day, even if you keep it short and sweet. You may choose to do bullet points in a different way that works with your schedule. So if writing every single day uh, of the month is not working for you, maybe you get in your head that there's a few days a week that you know you're going to be truly present and completely into this experience. And that's going to be more valuable than trying to do snippets of it every day. So find something that works for you because what works for you is what's important. So how often do you have to write in your gratitude journal? Well, that's up to you. I'm going to suggest you may want to start off with 30 day challenge and you can do it one of two ways. You can do the monthly bullet point, see how that works for you. Or you could do between one to five points of gratitude per day and see if that works for you. You may also have a schedule that doesn't give you two seconds if you've got lots of kids, uh, if you're trying to juggle a lot of things right now, you might say, I can devote these times in the week to this calm period of meditative space. Perfect. Find what works for you and your schedule. And the point is to find gratitude, not stress. So remember that in this process. A really important part of gratitude journaling is to feel it, to build up the momentum to feel the gratitude. Because the more gratitude we can build in our hearts and our minds and our bodies, the more we can have it spill out into our world in other ways. So it's a really great way to amp up the happy. So for sure, make sure that you are committed to doing it a certain number of times per week to really help build up that gratitude in your life. Where you write can also be a big part of this process. Some people are morning people, some people are night owls. So where energetically do you find that you're going to put the best uh, emotion and feeling into this process? Maybe it's at the kitchen table with your favorite hot beverage in the morning when you have some peace and quiet. 
And if you don't have some peace and quiet, that may not be your time. Maybe it's saying, I'm gonna leave this gratitude journal in my favorite spot, my favorite meditative spot in my house, by my favorite chair, and get to it at a point that, that works for your schedule. It might mean leaving it at your bedside table and doing it at night before you go to bed as part of your wind down routine to sleep. To sleep. Or it might be when the kids are in bed or all your stuff is done for the day, you can sit at the kitchen table with a candle and dim the lights and have some quiet time for yourself and spend a few minutes doing this as a meditative process. Find where it works in your day. And no matter what you hear out there, if you start it in the morning, it's a great way to start your day. But if you do it at night, it's a great way to go to bed to start a new day. There's no bad time. Every time is the right time as long as you're doing it. Whatever you do with your journal, make it your own. Whether you want to just write, do nothing fancy, do some bullet points, or write it out with a pen or a marker, that's up to you. If you want to add some doodles and some art in there and make the titles elaborate, jazz up those exclamation marks, put some stars and hearts, that's completely up to you as well. Some ideas you might want to add, if you go to an amazing event and you have a ticket, you could tape that in there and put that good energy in there. Or a photograph with someone that was an amazing day, you can tag, tack that in there too, but you don't have to. It's completely up to you. If there's something that really stuck out to you on a walk and you grabbed a beautiful leaf off the ground and you want to press it in the book, that's amazing. Or maybe a clover or a flower you want to press at the back. Use your imagination and make it as magical as you want in whatever way you want. I go through periods where sometimes I just want to write. I just like to write um, and sometimes I get a little bit more creative. There's no wrong way to do this. The right way is the way that you're doing it. If you start a gratitude journal, I'd love to know about it. Share it in the comments below if you do, or if you've already started one, let us know as well. And also drop your attitude of gratitude today. What are you grateful for today? I'd love to see that in the comments and I'd also love to have that so we can build more positive energy in this community and in the world in general. I will leave you with this. Today I am grateful for you. I so appreciate that you came to this channel today and watched this video and are part of this community because it makes me happy and I appreciate it. So until next time, I'm wishing you light, love, and happiness.